Greetings everybody, D-Man here. In this video, I'm going live to show you how to superhook. For hooking normally to your hand, you're going to hold the controller like this, and as you go to roll, it should be upside down by the time you complete. And how do you know you get the superhook? Well, for this example, I should only hit the 7 pin. Perfect. Now for the reverse. For that one, instead of holding it like this, you're flipping it around, covering the buttons, and as you go down and come up, once again, the controller should be upside down. And I should only get the 10 pin. <clears throat> And there you have it. Now for the eight hook points. So for right handers, first point is dot number one. You go in between arrows number two and three. For left handers, since this is going to be reverse for you, you're going to almost touch about right there slightly more because your hand's further away. Now let's go. Position two. Oh, no. From arrow two, and this is the one I use the most whenever I decide to go for a hook day. For arrow three, you're gonna leave about that much of the tip uncovered. You see a tiny little bit poking out. For left-hander, since this is your reverse, you're gonna cover it completely. Because again, you're further away with your hand. You'll see once I get to my super hooks. <sighs> the third die. There you go. You want what's almost like a rectangle on the middle arrow. And once again, for you left hookers, you're going to just barely cover the tip. Get that to over here. That should do it. I think I'm gambling on that one. Yeah, I didn't play with it enough, but it's roughly that area. That's embarrassing. And now the one I hardly ever use, because it robs you a lot. But from the gutter, same thing with a uh, arrow with a uh, third dot you're gonna just make it a little rectangle see if I strike this time ah like I said that one robs you So now for the reverse. This is where it gets fun. Because <laughs> doing this is not comfortable. So 
So for left-handers, there's your striking point. Little tiny, oh wait, sorry, this is arrow one. So there's your striking point. Mine is a little bit more because my hand is further away. Now, dot two, now that is your striking point, sorry. But for me, I'm going to cover the arrow completely. And being further away again. You're not going to strike every time, but I am showing you how to hit the pocket at least. So from dot three. No. Yep. All right. So for left-handers, that's your striking point as you're throwing it normally now. Because I'm reverse, a little tiny bit more, just cover the tip. <clears throat> cover the tip too much. You and I mess up, but these are the rough areas that I go to. And for the final one from the gutter, there's your striking point for left handers. A little more, a little less. See why I don't reverse it much. So that, that's how you super hook, and those are the eight points to hit the pocket. Before I end this video, let's see if I can turkey out with the one I use. Ah! I hate the seven pin, but there's how you super hook. Now go do it. Practice. <laughs> 